What's up, YouTube? This is Jazz. It's not a update. It's going to be a, what is it, a mini vlog about Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. The first thing I can definitely say to you guys, well, uh, before I say that, I'll start. I've been playing it for the last day and a half. The first thing I can say to you guys besides that, ap after that, you're definitely not going to see an LP of it coming from me. Well, let's just say the game, okay, there are, are moments where I want to just rip the game cartridge from the 3DS slot and throw it all over way over there. Because Nintendo went from Gates to Infinity being a little too easy. Oh, you want to go into Companion Mode and get levels and get items? Go ahead to this game. S or screw you guys. We're just going to throw you in there. Oh, and if you lose, you lose every single one of your items and your money. Not just some of your items. Like, let's say you've got some re reviver seeds or tiny reviver seeds uh, in this game, right? Well, no matter what happens, you lose all of them if you have to redo it. And for me, it's best for me to keep my levels, so I prefer just to not get rescued to get go back to where I was. <sighs> we'll just say the game. There's moments of the game that I really enjoy, but then about fifty five or more percent of it is pissing me off, literally. And I'm sorry for people who do not like that language, but that that's just how it goes. And okay, I'll say spoilers right here, but what's the point? Half the out P and community is spoiling it for you anyway by playing the Let's Plays on it, so I'm just speaking of it. Let's just say I get to the point where I have to battle three Polyrath. Well, if I lose, I'm all the way back four floors behind. You think, oh, that's not too bad. Try with without any of your items, like Reviver Seeds. Oh, and, oh, also... The hunger mechanic is back in this game, unlike the other. Remember, like, when you had a belly that would keep going down so many every so many steps? That's back, folks! I'm saying that annoyed, though. I mean, okay, you go through there without the items you need, with Pokemon that are really tricky, to say the least... So those four floors are like hell. And then back to the polyrath again, which there are three polyrath plus one polywag. Each polyrath has 80 HP apiece. And back when I was starting to play that, that was a lot. And my best move would only do like 20 for one of them. So, and half of my other Pokemon, my only other Pokemon, right? Or no, it may have been... No, my only other Pokemon would get knocked out really quickly. Right? And then it'd be just me against four Pokemon. I, I finally beat it. I'm like, yes! But then I realized that's just... It gets harder. And you know what, folks? It does. I'm at a point in the game now where I have to go for a 13-floor dungeon. And you're saying, oh, compared to some of the other dungeons by point in the game. Yeah, la, 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 I know. It's easy, but the point is, for lack of floors, up goes the strength, or the difficulty. So, I more than half of the dungeons in that game, even through looking for a walkthrough, aren't very many floors compared to the old games. But, the challenge of each of those floors are, like, up ten times. So, thirteen floors can be a hell of a lot. I keep losing, like, for normal, I keep losing around the fourth floor of that dungeon. I forget what dungeon it's called again. In Japanese, it's Korota something, where you and your partner are heading to a new, trying to head to a new town to start on the expedition team. But anyway, finally, I get to the 12th floor. I'm like, oh my god, am I actually going to do it? I get knocked out, and I have to do it all over again. And I'm just like, screw this. Not, not that I'm quitting the game completely, but if I didn't quit at that point, I'd be throwing it out the window. Will this say, 
it's not certain Harvest Moon game standards. Well, we could say Nintendo's given us a challenge. Or who, yeah, whatever yet yeah, is Nintendo too, but the creators of the game has given us more of a challenge, which for some people it's woohoo, right? And I'm not saying a challenge isn't good, but there's a challenge, and then there's ridiculous. Like, they don't give you an option to go and do something else to help you prepare for it. They don't let you, like, like for example, I'm trying to think. In the, of, I'm trying to think of what I was going to say, like, I know, but... Like, it's okay, in the first Mystery Dungeon games, the Red Rescue Team and the Blue Rescue Team, right? You had to progress through the story, you like, you had to, but you didn't have to do it right away. If there was a certain event going on, well, okay, the only time you did have to was when you were running off, right? Running away, right? But otherwise... You had a chance to go and do some other missions and training and such. Just to level up a bit. For you'll be prepared for further on the game. In this game, you have you do have filler days early on. But it does not really prepare you so much. Because once you're stuck on a certain part in the story, you can't go anywhere but that part, per se. So... In in situation I'm at, I have no way to prepare, get items, because I always lose them each time I'm knocked out. Right? So there is no way for me to prepare for it. I mean, the only good thing about repeating over and over is I'm gaining levels if I choose to, to give up and go back to the beginning. And where I'm at, I can save every time at that dungeon, so I can keep my levels. Like, they, rec they have a recommended level... Thing for you yeah, this the go to and right now almost both of my Pokemon meet it but I still get killed literally and I just like I mean just like in some games where you only you and your partner can do so then that's the point but I have a water and a fire type Pokemon going through a dungeon I mean it's all it all depends on the situation you're in, right? How patient you are. And I have been patient, fairly patient with it. I mean, I was shocked I got to at least the 12th floor, but I don't think I've gotten back there since for a while. Probably because ever since then, I just lost my nerve. I mean, really, I was like, I had, I was feeling pretty confident. I had quite a few of the items, but then suddenly my, I get knocked out. I guess if your partner gets knocked out, you can still kind of go, but you can't get knocked out. So they've changed some of that mechanic. And personally, I find the connection orb, I kind of like that added to it. Because I've, like, I kind of, in fact, that's probably one of the only things right at this point now I enjoy. And I can't even do that. You can't do those side missions in the game either. So I kind of wish they had something like the com companion mode. Like they had back in Gates to Infinity. Like, I'm trying to think, they upped the intensity level, the challenge level, which a lot of people find really, really good. But that's just something I wouldn't be able to let's play with patience. I would probably be halfway and go, I quit. And I don't want to do that with one of my let's plays. So I want to at least know how to have a good handle of the game before. If I ever let's play it, I want to know that... I know what to do, and you guys would have to be very patient with me with the w when the content came out because I really have to train, and I'm not going to show you every single scene in the dungeon, or you'd be hearing me swear back and forth because literally I just kind of. But I think what I may do is I may do a mini series of this rather than right now than let's playing it and saying my feelings on it every few parts in a story. Keep in mind, you may not get another one of these for a little bit because I'm still stuck there and I don't think I'll be past it for a good while. Heck, you may get one, you may get one in the next day or two saying I quit this game. I have no idea. If I did get past this in two or three days then, then eh, what's the point of you going on with the game?
and let make me strangle it to death. Well, I'll see you guys in my next video.